Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So, wasn't I right again? Romania will escalate with Russia. That means Romania said will shoot down Russian drones. Man, you know, if Romania would talk like that based on its own balls, I would be impressed. But it's not. Because unfortunately Romania is used like a lady of the night by Al Capone. And Romania now talks tough because it's like a little dog released to bark at a, I don't know, elephant. All right, so let me show you this bullshit article coming from Ukrainska Pravda. Romania to shoot down Russian drones if necessary. Top general. Man, I didn't know we got, we got these big balls all of a sudden. <laughs> All right, September 15th, 2023. And you know who's, who's celebrating? Some, some in Ukraine, some in the United States of America, and some big, big interest globally. All right? And some idiots who are like, ooh, yeah. All right? Those are the use, uh, what's that, useful idiots? Is that what it is? All right, so we have here a general, a Romanian general. Uh, his name is Georgitsa Vlad. Not Vlad Tsepesh, no, Georgica. It's Georgica, hey, little girl. I don't know. Anyway. Romania's deputy chief of defense staff has said the country's army is ready, is ready to bring down Russian drones that pose a threat. Now, obviously, it's, uh, Romania will determine what uh, a threat is, right? Yes. Do you think so? <laughs> what other people will say from behind? That's a threat. Shoot it down. And what if you shoot it down? What do you think will happen? Let's guess. <laughs> crazy, man. Crazy. So this Gorgitsa Vlad explained that Romania has deployed about 600 troops and radar systems in the Danube Delta area in response to Russia's frequent attacks on Ukrainian ports on the Danube close to Romanian territory. That's good. Very good. Now, I have a question. How many NATO troops are over there? None. All right, because you have to be the ones that you're going to be responsible, not NATO. NATO will just stay outside. You stay over here. And when that happens, you do it. And then we're gonna, you're going to ask us. And we're going to say, yeah, well, yeah, definitely we have to intervene now. Because uh, NATO was, those guys over there that uh, are over there were attacked. Or Remember, if this would be without NATO, and Romania will react like this, I will say, I would applaud it. I would say, good job, Romania, you got balls. Try to be like the Poles, Poles with the balls, or like the Serbs, or like the Hungarians. But I know that's not what it is. Romania is dragged like, a, you know, when you want to, uh, you put a collar around a, uh, a cat's neck, and you have a collar, you have a leash, and the cat, cat is like, and then you drag the cat like that across the right. Or if you want to take your dog to the veterinary, pulls back. That's how Romania goes on this one. Because they know, they know, they must know that the Russians will have no patience with them. Russians will not get in a conventional war with them. Maybe they will send them a few uh, missiles in Bucharest. Okay, uh, that's bad. And uh, uh, then, if Romania reacts, the, I think the Russians will say, we're going to fuck you up and we're going to use something else. Anyway, I hope these guys come to their senses, but I think it's too late. I think Romanian, Romania is so much under these guys' control that they will not be able to go back. And Romania say, well, we are, we are defended by, by big uh, whatever, big dogs. Okay, see where that's going to go. And I'm quoting, we have deployed several radars, put our defense systems in operation and discussed solution to counter Russian against, uh, aggression with our NATO allies. Good job, said General Vlad, not Vladimir Paler, no, no, not Vlad Tepes, Vlad, and not Vladimir uh, Vladimirovich uh, Putin. <laughs> Recording to, uh, responding to whether Romania would use its air defense forces against Russia's UAVs, Georgica did not rule it out. And I'm calling Georgica, I'm so proud. Depending on the threat level, we are ready to use all available military resources to protect the territory of Romania. I'm glad. I'm glad. 
So uh, pro probably he said like this. Um, depinde de nivelul de, uh, how do you call it, in a threat in Romania, uh, suntem pregătiți să folosim toate resursele militare la dispoziția noastră să protejăm teritoriul României. Hmm. Gate? Gate. Probably something like that. So my friends, what do you think? I think this is going to be. The Russians will continue sending, launching, uh, visiting Ukrainian ports on the Danube River. The Russian drones will probably uh, cross into Romanian territory. The Russian debris will might fall on Romanian territory. Some other people may, may send some drones in Romanian territory and Romanian territory will definitely be attacked. So they would be attacked by possibly the Russian drones going around or maybe by some third party interested in dragging NATO into the war. Who could that be? Oh, I can think of one, uh, Ukraine, <laughs> not Ukraine, because Ukraine is uh, like Romania, a, a obedient servant. It's going to be Al Capone again, papi poop poop poop. You think it's impossible? Why don't you read one book only, not more than one, one, and see how things are ran in a war. Oh, you remember the Gulf of Tonkin? Hey, remember that one? Gulf of Tonkin? 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 All right. That's uh, by um, Vietnam, by the way. And Americans, the Americans said that their navy was attacked by some Vietnamese boats and they damaged their ships. Therefore, attacked on high seas, we need to react. And that's how Amer America got into full war with Vietnam legally, because they were in there anyway. Do you think something like this will not happen? A little false flag operation? We shoot at ourselves so we can say someone attacked us. Oh, these are Russian drones, we say. Okay, so let's go attack these guys. It's going to be a big mistake, but they will be, they will drag these guys. Why? Because the Ukrainians, they will drag them in because the Ukrainians, I think they ran out or they are in the process of running out of men to fight. And Al Capone decided needs more people on the territory to uh, extract protection uh, fees. And that would be Romania. I covered an article a minute ago and I think Bulgaria. Poland will probably do something and this is going to end up with Russia saying boom boom kababam and then this guy is going to say hold up nobody moves here we want to talk a little bit with you Russia can we can, can, can? I want to talk you and I I think that's what's going to happen the Russians and they want to push them to that point uh, because Russia will have to say, hey, we have to defend our um, motherland and we are in danger of um, being wiped out. And they will give, a, I would say, an ultimatum. That's what I think they will do. The other guy is going to talk tough, like, you will not going to do this. And as I know, Russians, uh, they are consistent in good and in bad. You know, like people, we sometimes can do stupid stuff uh, and we, you know, doing it and doing it and all good stuff, doing it and doing it. So, but anyway, we'll see you, Romania. Good job challenging the, uh, Russia. Very good. Now, I want to see those Romanians that are so tough and with their dicks like this and bows like that. And man, Russians, now it's your time to go and join and fight those Russians once and for all. All right. <laughs> no, you're going to be fuck. Uh, you're going to be weasel alert. Children can get out of the um, room. We got some weasel alert here. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.